Sound good? I'm writing a paper on the effects of the Stamp Act and the Revolutionary War for class in American history. Alright, so first I'm going to pull up Google Chrome, do some research. Okay. Now I always start out doing a Google search for um, whatever I need. I basically see what there is to offer. Alright, so I'm going to click on this link because it is um, it seems like a reliable source. It's an EDU source. It's not a, a dot .com. Um, it means it's an educational site and it's typically a relatively accurate source. Let me go down and find what I need to find. Alright, so this gives you a little bit of information. Um, it's nothing too special. I think it's more just telling you what exactly it is. Um, so yeah, it's pretty basic, so I'm gonna, I don't think it's much of what I need. Alright. So I can come here. So it's coming to the American Revolution Stamp Act, uh, it's MassachusettsHistory.org. Um, hopefully, this will give me some information about Boston. All right. So this is this looks pretty good. Let's look a little better. A little more information. Um, look at that. Okay. So this is something I can use. Um, this looks like something that I would get a little bit of information for and I could probably cite this pretty well and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that come down here and find a word document there it is open that up and I'm going to paste that link right there alright I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go back Alright, so the next thing that I will do um, is I'm just going to modify my search a little bit. thing is with Google sometimes you just have to modify certain phrases in there and it works much better. Alright, so come here. See as you can see we can have we have a whole number of different in, uh, internet sites that I can use. Um there we go. We can look at that. Libcom. That'll work. All right. There we go. This is fantastic. This looks like a uh, a very good source, actually. This might be one of the better ones that I can find. So this just gives you like a a step by step of what's going on. And um, oh wow. Even cites the wow. It cites primary sources too. So this is definitely something I can use, and it goes it goes down a great deal. So there's a whole load of information. So this is definitely something I want to save. So I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna paste that right in there. 
back on my Word document. All right, so I found a couple basic information, basic websites for uh, that that have the information I need. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a library source, and I'm going to. Um, research some scholarly sources that I can that are things that I would typically cite for my uh, my paper all right so here as you can see like this is um what I can use to, to for scholarly journals right there. I click that box. So if I search, I'm going to search basically the exact same thing that I searched before. And that was uh, how the stamp act instigated the Revolutionary War right there. So I can just you know, copy and paste that right there. Right there. Now this is searching EBSCOhost, and EBSCOhost is probably the the best research tool that I that I've used throughout high school and college. All right, so here you can have someone read it to you. You can, I mean, look at this is this is absolutely perfect. So this is probably what I'd use um, for the duration of my paper for the most part I mean I'm I'd probably I'm, I'm gonna go back because it only gave me one real uh, link but it is a scholarly source because I, I mean it's, and it is a full text I didn't even click full text but it's a full text and this is a uh, the scholarly journal and um, this is exactly what I need um, this basically uh, tells me the exact same things as these other websites here which gave me uh, a rudimentary understanding of what it was I was trying to research, and this EBSCO host it gives me the the best possible source to use. So I'm gonna come back here. I mean, this kind it's kind of a specific thing. So I'm gonna make it a little more general, and I'm just gonna say, oh shoot, try it this way, stamp X. Scholarly sources only. All right. So as you can see, like I, I went the more general route, and it's given me a substantially larger um, uh, pool to work with. All right. So here's something. That's something interesting. Oh, actually, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm hit full text only. All right. So right here, this is exactly what I need. This is the Stamp Act Congress. This will give me more information on um, what came from the Stamp Act. Um. So this is something that I can still use. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it. Alright, but yeah, this is this is basically all I'm going to do. I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to go up and down these different sites. And, and if, if something appeals to me, I'm basically going to click on it. And, I mean... I can cite the sources, but say I like one a lot, and I'm going to say this one right here. Copy and paste that back into the browser. Say I like this. I'm gonna say the end of the Seven Years' War, um, was known as the American French and Indian War, resulted in the final expul expulsion of France from the continent of India. All right. 
Okay, so if I want to cite that, this is what I do. I just copy paste that right down there. And I'm going to stick those quotations on there. Now, go like that basically. I click that right there because I'm basically citing the source. I'm just getting a little number up there. Right there. I'm going to turn that off. Now, this is, this is something I'm assuming is going to be in the paper. And, um,. And I'm not basically uh, just. I'm just gonna stick it in there, just for an example. All right. So as you can see, that's what it is. And what I'm gonna do now to cite that source is I will go to Easy Bib right there. Right here is a scholarly journal. So I'm going to cite a journal. One thing. Copy. And I'm going to paste that. I think I might have done it wrong. I might have tried to cite it as a website. That's what it is. It's a journal. Now these are all the different uh, source journals that, that uh, entail what I just posted in there. Mine is from Funk and Wagnall's New World. Try that right there. database huh 
All right, so I'm gonna just do it myself. It's not gonna want to do it for me. All right, so it is. Is that it? 